the distinguished delegate of Slovenia. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, my vision towards the world is the most comprehensive action. The theme is now global and universal. It recognizes a strong connection between peace and security. Madam President, I would like to use this opportunity to explore one of the most crucial problems of my nation, Slovenia, is that the migration or the so-called refugee crisis. I know this crisis are currently facing not only in Europe, but also in other parts of the world. Madam President, refugee-related terror in Slovenia in order to revoke the Dublin regulation which governs asylum law in Europe. Exactly what type of terror is planned for Slovenia is not known. But domestic, Islamic, or new nazi related attacks on asylum seekers or refugees, terror attacks by Islamic terrorists posing as asylum seekers or refugees and or made for TV riots resulting in mass death due to fire now appears imminent. Slovenia airports, landmarks, nuclear reactors, trains, train stations, and schools may also suffer attacks by Islamic terrorists posing as asylum seekers. I have to prove this with two fine instances. In order to provide a timely motive for a false flag attack on asylum seekers and refugees in Europe, the Associated Press published a report back on November 5, 2015, entitled European Union predicts 3 million migrants could arrive by end 2016. Lastly, in what appears to be pre-Slovenian asylum seeker or refugee terror attack logistics, it was reported on November 11, 2015, that Slovenia is putting up a fence along its border with Croatia to control migrant flow. Consequently, a state-sponsored attack along the Slovenian-Croatian border is expected. Madam President, we know this fence is not at all a wide-minded notion, but we have to react like this. In other words, our circumstances made us bold. We need to, an urgent action. We contempt terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. Terrorism is a crime and unjustifiable under any circumstances. No country is immune to the threat of terrorism, neither can prevent and counter it on its own. We need to be determined and firm in our actions based on our common values. Therefore, a multilateral approach is needed. And the United Nations is the venue for such cooperation, complemented by a regional cooperation and national implementation of counter-terrorism <laughs> obligations. In this context and in conclusion, I would like to stress that the neglected Slovenia facing a lot of chaos from terrorism. It is mandatory to implement a counter-terrorist commitment. We hope a full-fledged synergy from UNO. That's all. Thank you.